one of the classic studios. Uh, Justin Murphy, he's completely young there, he's the only lead. Sarah Kundersh, as a lead. I don't know how to trade it. I don't think so. I think it's kind of like The working title for a game is Price of the Wrangling. General for games is RTS, which come, uh, focus on combat. Uh, examples of games we have the Boring Conflict, Warcraft 3, is more like the look of it. It's also combat based. Uh, sacrifice and Walkers. The tree note for the, for the game is Expand and Domain, which that's a, a very classic suggestion. Well, if you start off as one alpha wolf, you travel around and you pick up followers on the web. You form a pack of wolves and you work together against the other packs. You can expand to dens, totems, shields, and other structures. Then uh, you can become a tribe with specialized wolves by using those shields, totems, and structures. You basically, the main goal is to dominate by attacks. The main goals are just to expand across the territory, hunt together food, defeat the other tribes, and the main goal once again is just to become the top tribe. The theme, it's based on around Native American mythology. So it's going to be very Native American based, as you can see in our picture with the red colors and the footprints all over. And, uh, we're basically going to have three different levels, which will be explained later. And, uh, as for units, there's the Alpha, who's the leader, and your main unit that you want to keep protected. Then there's the Follower, which is a worker or gatherer. He hunts for resources. And there's the Mystics, which is your spellcaster, long range attacks, and you can also cast healing spells. And the Warrior is just your main attack, protector, melee attacks. Here's a few concept art pictures of uh, each one. Of them. And as for the structures, there's the Den, which can create followers, and it holds the supplies after the followers gather the food and bring it back to the Den. And the totem is a defensive structure, which also doesn't attack, which emits a ball of power or something and attacks the uh, enemy wolves that get near it, kind of like a turret structure. And then uh, there's the shield, which converts followers to warriors. I'm going to hand it off to Johnny to explain the levels and some key features. Alright, so uh, we basically planned out to have. Uh, well, we haven't decided on how levels are going to be designed just yet, but we've decided on a few main themes. Um, one of them is going to be just planes. It's going to be a wide open terrain uh, with uh, very few obstacles. It's just going to be like, sort of like a free roaming kind of, kind of deal. Um, it's going to be rich with food. Uh, it'll be more about getting a bigger tribe so you can have bigger fights. And you have a snowy forest kind of thing where it's a little bit tighter, everything's a little more food is a little bit more scarce and you end up with a lot of like corridor like fights. Uh, forest is kind of a combination of both where it's just greener um, but there's still decent amounts of food and fights um, well fights will still happen just as often as the uh, winter uh, forest. Alright, key features. Um, we plan on having a, cam a campaign which will basically have those three levels, just demonstrate them all. Um, we already have four units, uh, three main structures. Uh, we plan on getting, getting uh, food as the main resource. Um, and um, we, the style we're going to go for the game, uh, it's going to look cell shaded, sort of. Um, it's going to be a little bit more than that, sort of like um, if you got to play the new Prince of Persia. Um, you know, because we're going to have a lot of units, um, we're going to have to be able to navigate as a group. So we'll also have some flocking algorithms implemented for the yeah. AI. Um, more features that we we're, we're going to try and implement um, are uh, the recon unit. It's basically a wolf at the alpha. Uh, uh, sorry, it's a raven or some kind of uh, eagle that the alpha wolf will be able to summon and just reveal a certain area of the map. Um, We'll 
try to add a skirmish mode, just uh, start one map and play that. Um, we are, each of the specialized uh, units is going to have a special attack. Um, the Alpha Wolf, for example, has that Raven. Um, the Mystic will have the heal ability, and the, the Warrior will be able to defend the friendly units, take damage for them. Um, um, less important things that we're going to try and implement if we have enough time are uh, the networking, because any RTS, any good RTS has uh, some kind of networking component. And we actually think this, this game will have uh, potential being uh, pretty fun at a competitive level. Um, maybe if we have enough time, we can try to add more units if we need to balance things out. Uh, as for feasibility, um, the game is kind of complex, but it's built around a simple concept that we've all uh, done before. We uh, already tried to uh, think of how to plan certain parts of the game uh, engine-wise, and we think we got a good base for all of that. Uh, for the networking, if we can, if we can actually uh, squeeze that in, we'll probably going to be doing it with uh, Racknet, which is an external API. guy. And then I'll pass on to Kara. Sorry about that. Thank you for your time. I would, we would like to open the full frame for questions. 